Imagine making a chicken cashew stir fry that's both yummy and easy on the wallet. You don't need any fancy or expensive equipment and the steps are easy to follow. Let me show you how to make my chicken cashew. First of all, let's begin by preparing the 225 grams of chicken to allow it a minimum of 50 minutes to marinate in the sauce while we're preparing the vegetables. Start by trimming the chicken to remove any unwanted pieces. Then cut the chicken into long strips and place them in a clean bowl. After using the cutting board, remember to switch it for a fresh one to avoid cross-contamination. Do the same with the knife you used. In the bowl with the chicken, add 10 grams of cornstarch and 15 grams of light soy sauce. Mix the ingredients thoroughly, ensuring that all the chicken is evenly coated with the marinade. Now let's prepare the vegetables. Take 80 grams of mushrooms, remove the stem, cut them in half and lay them on the flat side down. Slice the mushrooms into bite-sized pieces and set them aside for later. Next up, take 40 grams of spring onion, remove the root and separate the green and the white part. Cut the white part into bite-sized pieces and chop the green part slightly smaller. Now we need to take 20 grams of red chili, Cut the stem off, split it in half and then into quarters. Slice the chili into bite-sized pieces. Grab a medium-sized onion, around 110 grams. Remove the top and bottom, cut into two pieces, peel the skin off and then cut the onion into wedges. Now we're going to work on the bell peppers. Take 75 grams of green bell pepper and 75 grams of red bell pepper. Remove the seeds and slice them into long strips, and then into smaller bite-sized pieces. Now for my favorite ingredient, the garlic. Peel 20 grams of garlic by lightly crushing them and remove the skin. Mince the garlic into fine pieces and set aside for later. And last, we need to prepare 90 grams of cashew nuts and set them aside for later. Now we need to prepare the sauce for the stir fry. And I'd like to begin by saying if you like your stir fry on the more saucy side, double these measurements. Take a bowl and add 50 grams of water. Add 5 grams of fish sauce, followed by 3 grams of dark soy sauce. Then add 5 grams of brown sugar and lastly 20 grams of oyster sauce. Mix all ingredients thoroughly to combine and set aside. Now we can finally get started with the cooking. Take a wok or another large pan that can hold all the ingredients and add peanut oil to it. Heat the stove to a high setting and wait for the oil to become hot. Now it's time to add the cashews and toast them until they're golden brown. Remove the cashews from the pan using a slotted spoon or try and save as much oil as possible. Next we need to add the garlic and chili, but be careful during this step since the wok is hot and the garlic and chili doesn't need much time in the pan. Remove the garlic and chili and add the mushrooms and the white part of the green onion instead. These two ingredients can withstand a lot more heat, so cook them on a high setting, allow them to char slightly. Since my channel is new, please consider subscribing, it would help me a lot. Once they're cooked, but still crispy, remove them from the heat. Now add a bit more oil and add the marinated chicken. Fry the chicken until it's cooked through. When the chicken is ready, reintroduce the onion and mushrooms, then add the garlic and chili. Next we need to add the green part of the spring onion, as well as the red and green bell peppers, together with the toasted cashews. Stir all the ingredients together and add the sauce we prepared earlier. Since we used cornstarch in the chicken marinade, there is no need to add extra to thicken the sauce. Expect some smoke because the pan is very hot, so ensure that the fan is on. Keep mixing the ingredients until the sauce has thickened slightly and then you can turn off the stove. I recommend serving this dish over white rice or fried rice, but noodles can also work depending on your preference. And you know, that's it! A chicken cashew stir fry. 
PC homemade takeout. If you watched all the way through, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on this video. Please stay tuned for more Asian style cooking and if you have any dish you want to see me make, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching everyone, see you soon!